What's going on, everybody? Garnet Walt is here. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I hope you're safe out there, especially with what's going on. Um, today's video, I'm going to um, piggyback on something that I did in the last video, the keys and aux video. Um, I'm going to put a card up there so you can, you know, click on it and check it out. So um, I'm going to go into how to create um, a, a, a nice setup in terms of your B3 organ. And I'm going to be using the B3 organ on main stage, main stage. And as you can see here, I created it in the patch list by just pressing the plus button and then I just renamed it. So after that, I'm going to go into the channel strips there, press the plus sign, and then I'm going to have it set up with the oxygen and I'm just going to have one channel. All right. Now, once I do that, I click on the channel here, then I'm going to go into the channel strip library. I'm going to pick vintage B3 organ. I'm going to go into tone wheel organ and it'll pop up right here. Vintage B3 it will be renamed. Then I'm going to go into where it says vintage B3. I just click on that one time and boom, all of this will show up now. Um, I like to set up uh, my draw bars so that it'll go from like the uh, from like the 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 more softer sounds to the brighter sounds. So what I'll do is I'll just do this. I'm going to go into let's see here. I go into presets, right? And then I'm going to start here. And by doing that, I, I, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm using the mod wheel to change these settings, right? But I want it so that I can start with a more softer sound, softer preset or drawbar setting. And what I'm going to do is this. Actually, I'm going to go into options. I go into options and I go to this part here where it says morph and I'm going to change the range because I want the range to go all the way to C sharp. And you'll see why I say C sharp in a second. And I want it to be linear, not step by step, because I want the organ draw bars to sound like I'm actually pulling out the draw bars and it's gradually getting into a, a, a brighter sound. Um, so make sure I have it on C sharp and I have the MIDI controller set up as the mod wheel to go through my draw bar settings. So when I go back to main, I'm going to go to presets. Now, as you can see here, the reason why I chose C sharp is because if you were to look at a keyboard, this would be C as it's, I can see there it says C zero C D E F G A B. So if this is C, this right here would be C sharp. Now, I'm going to exit out here for a second. As you can see here, I'm moving the mod wheel here because the organ is going to be on the top board I'm using, the Oxygen 88. I'm going to click here again, open up the B3. All right. So that's the setting here. I want to make sure that is working properly. Right. So now this setting here, I have my mod wheel is all the way at zero, right? Let me see. I'll just move this over so you can see it for yourself. All right. So this setting here, my mod wheel is at zero. See how it's changing? Great. So I like to set it up like this. So I'm going to put these draw bars in. Right. And as you can see, as I'm changing it, you can see it changed there too. Right. So let's try it out. Right. Then the next draw bar setting I'm going to do, I'm going to set that up and put like this. Well, actually I'll do this first. 
I want it to stay a little brighter. Then I'm going to go to this setting and change that. Put that to this. And you know what? To make it easier, when I get to this setting, I want all the draw bars to be out. So I'm going to set up all the draw bars to be out. So we're all, so we're building to get to this point here, right? So go back to this one here. Um, then I'm going to go here and change that up. Right now, this may seem a bit tedious at first, but the more you do it, you know, the easier it'll be because you know, you'll know what you want to hear and what you want, you know, your setup to be like, All right? So I have that there. So I'm going through this here. that I'm going to bring this down too. I'm going to just get this done. So again, I'm just kind of just going through all of this really quickly. Um, bring that down like that. Bring it down. So, and we're almost there. Got this last setting here coming up. Almost there. Push one. Setting back in and then boom, we're there. So now I'm just gonna put this down here so you, so you can see what's happening, right? Now, the reason why this is important is because you want it to sound real, like the, you're really pulling the draw bars out. So um, when I set it to linear, this is what it'll sound like. All right, you hear the difference? You hear that? Like as I move the mod wheel, you know, the sound started to get brighter. All right, I'm gonna take the percussion off too. I'm gonna take that off. Um, so you go back to controls, percussion off. There we go. All right now, if I were to use the step feature, you wouldn't get that smooth transition between draw bar settings. It would just dance around. It would just be all choppy. All right? Yeah, you don't want that. You want it to be gradual. I want it to be gradual. So I'm going to go back to the options and put it back to linear. All right. Now, I'm going to throw in a bonus thing here, too. I noticed that the, uh, the distortion is a bit much. So I'm going to turn down the, the distortion a bit. I want there to be a little bit of grip. I want it to be a little more clean. So now it's how the organ sounds a little cleaner now, but it still has the little distortion in there. smoother and the other thing in um 
and creating this uh, this organ setup is that I'm using, let's see, let me try to pull this up. Ah, here we go. If I go to rotor, rotor cabinet, I'm using my sustain pedal as my Leslie switch. So that's pretty much how you, you know, hook up your uh, your organ to make it sound like it's real in terms of uh, setting your draw bars. You know, you want it to sound as real as possible. And I find that this way it works for me. If you have any, um, um, any like, questions and stuff or any comments or any other, you know, things you want to say about how you set up your organ setup, um, please feel free to write something in the comments, type something in the comments. Um, you know, because I also want to know what, what you all are up to as well. Um, again, if you made it to the end of the video, let me know that you made it by just typing something in the comments. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed, let me say that again. If you haven't subscribed, please, you know, be a pal, be a friend. It doesn't take much. <laughs> um, just, you know, press on that subscribe button. You know, we're just trying to learn and trying to get better, you know, on this journey that we call music. So, um, also, you know, share the video, press the like button if you liked it. Um, also, you can check out my other videos as well, too. Um, I'm talking about mainstays for the past couple of weeks. So, um, you know, I, I just hope that this is helpful. Um, so share it with your friends. Um, again. If you have any questions, also leave that in the comments, or you can just hit me up on social media. All that information will be in the description. Um, other than that, again, I hope this video has been helpful. You know, stay safe, be safe, um, experiment, have some fun, and peace.